Yeah, all right, guys, we're back here. We're gonna about to work on another video now. Basically, the car will not start. Um, try two different uh, TFIs. Who knows if they're both good or not? I'm gonna buy one more. Uh, so at this point, it could be TFI. It could be the fusible fusible uh, link that's somewhere over here, or the ignition column. I gotta check the green and. Uh, I gotta check the, the wires on there. All our fuse number 18, which isn't blown on mine. So we can at least get rid of that. So, hey everybody, it's the next day. We're still working on this uh, no spark issue. All right, so, so far I pulled apart my column. I checked my, uh, see if you guys can see it. My ignition switch there, it's brand new. Someone, the previous owner must have changed it. And if I recall, he said he did. So the key's turned forward now. So we're getting, I also checked the multimeter onto this light. We're getting 12 volts to this, to the coil. Um, I have two TFIs here. Um, I don't think they're bad, because I put a brand new one on right here, a Napa. And we got um, nothing, same thing, no start. So I've been on the forums reading up and uh, the next test it said to do was basically, you take this off right here. Oops, put that there. Take this off the solenoid. Take that off. And now you're gonna have a, uh, a post right here. Connect that to the post. And I took the coil wire off the distributor. So it's sitting here and I put an old spark plug in it. Now when you go, uh, let's get the other end of this. You're supposed to tap, I got a little wire here. And you're supposed to tap the battery side of it. And then we're supposed to get spark with the key, key ignition on inside the car. As you can tell, we're getting power to the coil because it's the lights lit up and I confirmed it's 12 volts. So, um, let's hit it up now. Now all you do is just hit this. So we're bypassing a bunch of stuff to see if we got spark and we have no spark. So at this point, Set the power off on here. At this point, point, I'm at a loss. I checked the ohms or resistance on the actual coil, and um, it's within spec. I forget what the, what the numbers were, but I did try it out, and it seems to be pretty good. Uh, so I'm really lost right now what to do next. I know it's not the fuel injectors or anything, because I can smell gas, tons of it. I actually have the uh, fuel pump shut off right now while I'm cranking. Um, actually, I don't like it. Smell the gas. Uh, that's right. I plugged it back in after I tried something. Okay, so uh, yeah, I don't think it's the computer not sending a signal. Um, I just don't think it is. So it's got to be maybe a bad coil here. I don't know. We're getting 12 volts to it. As far as resistance go, it passes. New TFI module. That distributor is fairly new too. Um, but the bottom line is the coil isn't making spark. So there's nothing coming over here. I don't know, I have to go read up some more and then uh, see what we can do here. Anyways, so hold on one second. All right, so we're still looking here. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, I got it on the power side, and we're gonna see if this thing, uh, if the computer is setting this a signal. Now, when I go to crank the car over, this should flash, you know? So, let's see. What a pain this is. Ah. All right, let's see if we can see the light from here. I'll try it again. There it is, that's power on. All 
Well, we got plenty of fuel pressure. Ah. So. All right, so now we know that. Let's check resistance on the, uh, on the coil pack one more time. And at this point, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so uh, let's see. So, uh, all right, this is the confusing part for me. I'm checking resistance. There it is. Got the multimeter set on ohms, 200 is as low as it goes. Um, how could I do this? Let's see if there's a way to mount this. Hold on one second. So here goes the two wires. Come together. Supposed to zero out. At any rate, here we go. Let's put these on here. Let's see. Point six. So it's supposed to read point three to one point oh. So we're right in the middle at point six. So I'm really not seeing a problem here with the coil. There is another test going from here to the lead here. I gotta figure that out, or to the, uh, yeah, to the lead here. So I gotta figure it out how to do that out next. So let's hold on one second. All right, so I'm at a loss here. So the only thing I could do was I ran over to Napa, got another coil for $34. Let's throw it on and see what happens. Um, yeah, let's hope that's what it is, you know, because I'm starting to get to be at a loss on this right here. But like always, we'll figure it out. All right, so let me get uh, get this coil changed and we'll go from there. So hold on. All right, I got the new one on here. I haven't tried starting it yet. I was just playing around with the ohms resistance. I'm just curious. The Screaming Demon right here did uh, point, 0 0.6. And let's see what this says. Point seven, where the other one did point six. So something tells me this isn't it. But I could be wrong. All right, battery's plugged in. There we go. That's on, that's on. TFS is on. Let's make sure that's pushed in good. Oops. All right, the pip's there. There's another pip over there. I'm gonna try different pips. Um, inside the cap and rotor, it's nice and dry. There's no wear. It's pretty much a new cap and rotor that I put on last year. There's not that many miles on this thing. Uh, so let's give it a go. Oh, let me get my keys. We may be lucky, we may not. All right. Fuel pump's good. Nope. And we got fuel, so that's not it. I can smell the fuel. Okay, so. We know the computer setting the signal to, oh, wait a minute. All right, I should really delete this, but guess what? Where's the plug? I never plugged it in. Let me guess, I buried it. It's gotta be here somewhere. Hold on a second. All right, well, that was a big oops. So that's plugged in now. I'll leave it in the video. This is how it really goes, especially for the 
Rookie guys, young guys, mistakes happen. What are you gonna do? I laugh now if it starts. Ugh. All right, let's give it a go. No good. I bought this uh, coil last end of summer or fall last year. If I got, I doubt I even have 500 miles on this, and it broke already. So here you go, screaming demon. Oh, you bet your ass I'm gonna call. Look at it, it's brand new to thing. Like I said, I don't even have 500 miles on this damn thing. So, yeah, I'm gonna give them a call, see if I get another one. All right, we're running. Let me do the timing and uh, we're good to go. So hold on. All right, guys, we got her running pretty good. Let's take it for a ride. Uh, let's see. Uh, put it back together, that new coil from Napa works great. Um, I set the timing at 12 degrees. Yeah, it's running great, man. Perfect. No more breaking up or anything like that. So uh, we pretty much, yeah, we got her done. So no complaints here. At least it was something simple like the, uh, what do you call it? The coil. I was just very surprised. That I never imagined that coil being broken. Only because it was like, it's pretty much brand new. I figured TFI module, something like that. Anything but the, the uh, coil. So. Yeah, she's running really good right now. They, the plugs are still gapped at uh, 54 thousandths for the Screaming Demon.